Hey there, Sam. Sometimes in Laravel, we just want to paginate our collections. However, at the time of recording this video, there's no way to paginate a collection out of the box. Well, what can we do then? Don't worry, let me show you one of the ways to tackle this. Before we start coding anything, let's take a look on how Laravel implement the paginate method in the query builder. I know it looks scary, but don't be afraid, I'll explain it line by line. So on the first line here, Laravel will try to grab the current page that the user is trying to view. The query parameter that Laravel will look at by default will be page, which is supplied by the page name argument. The question mark colon operator is known as the ternary operator or Elvis operator, which is a shorthand for this. Next, we'll set the size for each page. Laravel will use the per page argument supplied by the user Otherwise, it'll use the default per page number, which is 15. Coming up next, we have the main dish of this function, which is doing all the heavy work of the pagination. So the first part here is basically grabbing the query result count and set it to a total variable. If the total count is not zero, then we'll run the for page method to get the result set from the target page. If the count is zero, however, we will just resolve to an empty collection. The for page method is the real magician here, and it is very similar to the for page Laravel collection method. And that is exactly what we're going to use later when we create our own implementation. And lastly, in this function, Laravel pass the results into a paginator. The paginator method will return us an instance of the length aware paginator class. But what the hell is a paginator anyway? To put it simply, a paginator formats our result into a standardized JSON response that looks something like this. Now it's time to code. Let's create a new helper class called collection helper. We'll create a new static method called paginate and this method will accept the collection that we want to paginate and also the size per page. And just like the original paginate method, we will resolve the current page that the user want from the query parameter using the resolve current page helper function. We also create a total variable that represents the total count for our collection, which will be used later. Now in the original method, Laravel calls a paginator method in the return statement. Let's see if we can replicate that. Let's just copy the whole paginator method and paste it in in our collection helper class and importing the associated classes. And of course, making our paginator function static. Now back in our paginate method, we can now call our newly created paginator method. The first argument items represent the actual response data that we want to send back from the server. For this, we can use the for page collection method in Laravel. It accepts a target page number and also the page size as its arguments. The total argument represent the total item counts in our collections. Per page is the page size. Current page is the current page number. And finally, the options we can copy it from the original, changing the page name variable to page. And that's it. Let's test our code. We'll create a testing route and create some dummy data and return a JSON response, which will send back the paginated collections. Let's check it out in the browser. And there you go. The source code is in the description. Play around with it and I'll see you again next time.